Hello, this is Gio. Hey, you're looking at a TV. Actually, a TV in a hotel room in Bend, Oregon. And so why am I in Bend, Oregon? Well, I figured I'd do a pilgrimage to the very last blockbuster on Earth, right here in Bend, Oregon. And so what do you do at a Blockbuster, the very last in Bend, Oregon? Well, of course, you rent a movie. And in this case, oh brother, where art thou? Okay, so in a hotel room. Well, most hotel rooms don't have DVD players. So I was smart. I brought one of my own. Here's a nice little Sony Blu-ray DVD player. However, I made a mistake. What was my mistake? no remote. And so what can I do other than cry, weep, cry again? So I went to Walmart to get a universal remote, but instead I got a $25 DVD player, a watch on DVD player from Walmart. And since I'm stuck in a hotel, I might as well show you how to hook this thing up. A couple of things I was interested right off the bat was this TV is fairly modern and it only has HDMI hookup. Actually, it has other hookups, but I was interested in HDMI and this one has HDMI hookup. Also, I wanted to make sure that it had the remote with the batteries included, which it does. And of course, before you purchase anything for a hotel TV, you want to make sure it has the proper inputs. And yes, it has several HDMI extra inputs right here. And just because your hotel TV has some additional inputs, that doesn't mean you can access them on your hotel remote. But in this case, it does have a source button right here and I could switch between the actual inputs. And so I could uh, go to HDMI one if I or two or three if I want to. So let's hook this thing up. So what did we get for $25? Well, of course, the beautiful DVD player right here. You got your HDMI hookup. You got some composite uh, connections there. You get, uh, of course, the remote with battery. Now, I was initially looking for a universal remote. This whole thing is $25. The universal remotes went for about uh, 15 to $20. So this is a good deal. One thing I didn't mention initially, it actually comes with the HDMI cable itself. This is a great value. Also, you got the power plug with the little adapter for the power and some documentation. And this thing can't be any simpler to connect. You just connect the AC adapter to the plug there. Go ahead and plug it into your power. You grab your HDMI cable, plug one end to the HDMI uh, output right there and then you plug in the other end to the HDMI one or whichever input you want on your TV and unlike the more expensive Sony player this one actually has controls right here on the front of the machine so you can use it without the remote so let's just go ahead and turn it on pop the tray and then plop in your DVD. And you're all set to watch your movie, your blockbuster movie.